Okay, I'm going to try to tell you as much as possible about this game in English. It's not my first language, so please excuse any mistakes I may commit. But, basically about the characters, let's focus on that, okay? So, as you know, the characters have four different levels. You have bronze characters, you have silver ones, you have the gold ones, and you have diamond, okay? As you must presume, probably, diamond characters are the strongest one, and bronze characters are not only the weakest ones, but also the cheapest to level. This game is an RPG. As an RPG, you need to understand there is a system to follow. What's the system you need to follow? First of all, uh, you, can, you may notice they have different colors according to the, to the element of the characters. For instance, this prototype, she is a wind character. Yeah, I have this big band, it's a far character, right? And you have water characters, for instance, this Eliza. You have dark characters, my Beowulf in this case. And, of course, you have light ones. As the case of this, as it is the case of this uh, misfortune. What is the system? The system is very simple. Water is going to beat fire. Fire is going to be the wind. Wind will beat water. Yeah. And then you have light and dark. They beat each other, okay? You have some characters, few of them, that they have no element. That's the case of this specific rainbow double and this one that is an Elisa, a very special one, inner pieces that is going to be able only through the gifts you receive daily. So don't forget to give other players gifts and to receive gifts, okay? You can request the different players of the, of the forum here in Facebook, or, or here on Facebook, sorry, to accept you as a friend. You can send them a friend request and they can accept you and then you're going to be able to send them gifts and they're going to send you gifts back, okay? So, what is the strategy here? The strategy is very simple. As you are a new player, you need to level bronze characters. You can make the bronze characters, you can make them silver, golden, and even diamond. How is that possible? When you have a fully leveled bronze characters, that's the case of my Beowulf, I hit a wolf, and I'm going to need Four, three different bronze Beowulf, it doesn't matter the element, but they have to be Beowulf variant, yeah, and they have to be bronze. Three of them are going to make a silver character, okay? When you have a silver character, you can make them into gold, yeah, for instance, let's say this Cenevela, she's fully leveled, I can evolve her into a golden character and they're gonna be required to sacrifice a four different cerebellas yeah it doesn't matter the variant it has to be a cerebella and it doesn't matter the element but they have to be silver yeah the same happens when you have a golden one for instance i have uh here look at this this is my my cold stone do you remember i have it in bronze well i leveled and evolved my character until golden then this golden one, I can evolve it, and I'm gonna be required to use four different Beowulfs. Yeah, gold, five different Beowulf, gold Beowulf, in order to make him a diamond character, yeah. So the strategy I am suggesting right now is using good bronze variant of the characters. For example, uh, just to, to give you a, 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 an example here, to me, the first character you need to improve and evolve and make her stronger is Philia Bad Hair Day. Why? Because Philia, she has an incredible buff. She can make you bleed yeah, for seven seconds, and those bleed, you can add bleed over bleed so you can go from one bleed level one to bleed level five 
it's just a single combo. And you're going to kill the other character just by bleeding. Yeah. Also, as an RPG, you must know they have a skill tree. The skill tree is going to allow you to unlock the special and signature abilities of the player, of the character, allow you to have energy cooldown or reduce the energy cooldown, allow you to have more health, HP and defense, defense, yeah. Also, you have the opportunity to upgrade the number of points required to use a move. What is a move? Let me show you. Do you see this? These are the moves. The moves, they can go from level 1 to level 3. Okay? The ones that are frames, they are called blockbusters. Yeah, you have level 1 blockbusters. You have level 3 blockbusters. Let me see if I have one here. Because I don't use level, uh, level, uh, yeah, level 2 blockbusters. Yeah, you have them here. And then you have the level 3 ones. These level 3 blockbusters are unblockable. You cannot block them. You can block any single movement or hit. But these ones you cannot. Yeah. You're going to learn there are cer there are certain special moves in the game that are not that they are unblockable. You cannot block them. Okay. But the blockbusters, the only ones that are unblockable are these. The three level three blockbusters. Okay. Now let's go back to our friends Philia. So Philia is one of the best characters to level and upgrade because number one is cheap yeah the skill set is really cheap you're gonna start spending only 5,000 canopies yeah and you can complete this skill tree really fast yeah and it's going to be cheap to do now besides philia i recommend you highly recommend you to upgrade uh cold stones yeah, this is a, a character that is like a wrestle, and you can actually fight with grabs and, and throw it at your, the enemies and etc. Yeah, this one is a bronze one too. So you can upgrade this character, you can level him, and you can evolve it until diamond if you want it. Yeah, but first you're going to require to have all the the elements to upgrade the characters. Also, the skill trees. They have something that is called keys. Here you have the keys. Yeah, up here I have 36 of them. You need to unlock every single space with a key. Yeah, you need to win the key through the history mode. Okay, they're going to give you bronze keys, silver keys, and even gold keys if you fight and you win. Yeah, or you classify to the to the. Uh, rewards in, a, in the price fights the problem is when you have a diamond character because you're gonna be like well, what am I gonna do with a diamond character the diamond character is going to to be very powerful yeah and they're gonna have a lot of buffs yeah a lot of hex uh, many many uh, many things that are going to make them really useful in battle but they are extremely expensive Okay, it's really, I mean, believe me, I have uh, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah, like 16 different characters, but most of them are artificial diamond characters. And I mean, those are characters that they were bronze, silver, or even gold, and I make them diamond. Natural diamond, I only have uh, Eliza. The mummy dearest, the test chick, the fly trap, the X pot, and I have the class cutter. But the movements are really expensive, really. Believe me when I tell you, and the keys to unlock the movements are hard to get. Yeah. For example, look at this. One single movement is going to be eight thousand. The last of them will be 150,000 and I haven't said anything about the 200,000 canopies I need to spend only unlocking this charge attack okay so the strategy is simple and I repeat take the best bronze characters you have 
um, evolved into silver and gold characters. They're going to allow you to fight in prize fights. What is a prize fight? A prize fight is basically a special fight with three different categories. You have bronze category, you have the silver one, and you have the gold one. This is the one you're looking for. Why? Because they're going to give you a lot of money. They're going to give you a lot of experience, and you're going to be able to win in rewards different characters and movements. Yeah, for example, if you play, you instantly gonna, they're going to give you a golden special move. If you are in the top 31% to 60%, they're going to give you experience, and skill points, I'm sorry, and they're going to give you a special movement. If you get into the 30%, they're going to give you a silver character, a golden key, a blockbuster, level 3 blockbuster, special move, and skill points and then you have the top 10 and the top 1 to 10 they're gonna give you many other things right so what's the idea brother the, the idea is to get as many gold characters yeah so you can participate of these prize fights why silver why bronze and not silver because silver characters are more expensive than bronze characters and the bronze characters they are cheap to evolve so you what what do i recommend you i recommend you to have from each one i recommend you to have if you have it a star child yeah bronze i'm talking about bronze only bronze uh be a wolf cold stones big band well i don't have any because i don't like the the the, the bronze variants but there are good ones the cerebella i don't have any I don't believe it's a good variant. Uh, Monjerias, I don't know the name. <laughs> I believe it is uh, Sunday. Sunday something. Yeah, I don't know the name in English. But Monjerias is really good in Bromusen. And uh, you have this Denial. In Denial is good as a defense. Uh, Thilia, obviously. Bad hair day. Uh, Fuqua. Infernal Twin. This is going to be the best Fuku you're gonna get. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, I don't have the Misfortune, the Bronze variant, but the Water variant is the best. Okay, in Bronze, I believe. I, I mean, uh, yeah, this one Rusty for Penguin. That's the one you gotta look for. Uh, sheltered Parasol. You gotta get her. You see, it's a Bronze variant. As you can see, I have many of her because it's that good. Yeah, I love this character. And Peacock Incomplete, I believe that's the one you gotta look for. Uh, prototype, as you can see, it's, as, it's so good that I evolved my prototype until Diamond is really effective and very useful. Here, this one, it's Scary Stiff. That's the best you can get in Bronze, okay? It's the best you can get in Bronze and Finally, you have Valentine. Any Valentine is going to help, but Icy Hot is the one you need to level. Okay? If you level this and you complete their skill tree and you complete uh, the signature ability and the cardinal ability of all of them, you're going to have a good base. Yeah, good team. So you can participate in prize fights. You're going to get the different gifts. You're going to get more characters even gold characters and then you're going to be able to uh, fit all the requirements to upgrade the diamonds ones this is uh, an rpg you know the rpgs are going to require a lot of time from you so you need to be patient okay this is important patience i hope this helps